Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to change the keyboard in Android. Um, now, this might seem like a trivial task, but, um, you know, it's not really explained properly anywhere. And uh, the method I'm using, I believe, is most easily uh, used for devices that are running Android 4.0 and above. Um, if you're using an older device, the method is relatively the same, the concept. Um, but anyway, let's assume you downloaded and installed a keyboard from Google Play but you can't activate it, it's not working for some reason. Well, it's very simple when I show you. Um, so I've downloaded and installed a keyboard called Swipe, and I'm gonna go to uh, my web browser, I'm gonna select a text box, but I notice that I'm still seeing the stock Android keyboard. I don't want that, I want my Swipe keyboard. How is that done? Well, this is how it's possible. So what you need to go is you, to your system settings, now keep in mind the system settings you're seeing now will differ for other people. Um, what I'm seeing it will be completely different for Samsung devices, for example. And I'm currently running Android 4.4.2, I believe. Uh, so basically, to activate it, the concept is the same on most Android devices, even though this will look different. You want to basically look for something that says something like language and input, as I have selected now. And you want to open that. If I scroll on just a little bit, you'll notice um, that Swipe Dragon is uncheck marked. I want to check mark it. Uh, this is a system security setting in Android because it basically says that hey the keyboard you're installing is a third party app. It could read your passwords and all that other stuff. Do you want to accept it? I'm going to press OK. That's why Android keyboards aren't activated by default. So now that I've given Android permission to use Swipe and I trust that keyboard, I'm going to go back to whatever app I was using to type in. So my web browser, I'm going to go to the um, URL box. Okay, but I still don't have Swipe. Um, I want to activate Swipe, so how do I do that now? This is the final step. Very simple. When I look at the very, very top left corner of my notification drawer, uh, I have no keyboard icon there. When I select the text box, a keyboard icon pops up. So if I swipe down my notifications, now I have something like choose input method. I'm going to select it as I am now. And now you see I have a whole bunch of keyboards. I see Swipe Dragon. I'm going to select it. And that's it. There is my swipe keyboard. I'm now ready to use uh, my swipe keyboard. So if I were to go to text box again, anywhere in the Android system, um, swipe is now my default. So that's all there is to it. It's very simple. Uh, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check my Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter links in the video description. Hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe. And thanks for watching.